Charlie Couchane here to do another woodworking project. This time we're going to frame this 20 by 20 custom puzzle. This is a puzzle my daughter had made of my daughter and my wife standing in a sunflower field and each one has put the puzzle together independently because we live apart. When my wife finished it she put a special coating on the puzzle front and back to make it a single piece, as you see, my job has now been to make a frame. You can't really buy a 20 by 20 frame. It's kind of an unstandard. So I'm gonna use this piece of thin plywood I have with this piece of solid oak I have laying around and I bought a piece of 18 by 24 inch glass. It is a couple inches narrower because I like that aspect ratio. So I'm going to cut off this white border on the edges. And we're going to get this all framed up and hopefully it comes out great. My wife likes it. So let's get started. First thing I think we should do is determine the actual size of this picture is going to puzzle. And I got my piece of glass out. I'm just laying it down on top and sort of figuring out where I want to cut this. Then I'm just going to take my Sharpie. That should be the perfect width of our piece of glass. to do now that I have that profile and this is obviously where the puzzle glass and backer board will go um, I already added a nice chamfer here to the edge as you can see I'm going to add this piece of roundish trim it's like a half round just as a decoration on the top side so I'm going to glue that okay the way I'm going to put this trim on I'm just going to put a bead of glue and then clamp it down. I am not going to put nails because you would see those. Even if you putty them, I don't like the look of that. So I'm just going to glue it down. There'll be no stress on it, just a simple little glue. So you don't need a whole lot. There we go. There's all four. Okay. Take this off. Turn it over. And tap it.
perfect. Okay, here's a, a little tip. If you want to know how big to make your frame, you put a cup, your pieces on, then you measure across, and you know to this outside, that's how big your frame needs to be. And then you add like a sixteenth of an inch if that's what you want for clearance. And that'll tell you how far to make your pieces. Okay, the next thing we have to do is glue this frame together and I'm just going to use my tight bond wood glue and what I'm going to be using is a strap clamp that you see here. You turn the handle, it pulls this strap around and there's a corner piece at every corner and it pulls it all tight together. First piece, put a little glue. Start slowly tightening it. Okay, the last thing you have to do is check it, make sure it's square. Oh, it's perfectly square. To make these joints stronger, what I'm doing is I cut a slot through the corner into which I'm going to put a spline. And then of course after I'm done I'll trim it off square and that will give that corner a lot of strength.
now the fun part, the stain. I'm using Ipswich Pine. It's a nice light brownish color. This has been drying for several hours. Now it's time to put the first coat of polyurethane on. I'm using Helmsman Spar Urethane, which is good for indoor or outdoor. one coat done okay it's been about 24 hours the frame came out perfect every corner is nice and square I love these splines they put in the corner they came out beautiful you can barely see them so now it's time to put the puzzle frame together <laughs> first thing of course put the piece of glass in but before you put the glass in we gotta do some cleaning. Now we gotta put some of these little glazing points in. Came up looking great. Perfect. Now you can hang it. A couple of these rubber bumpers. And these bottom corners. Perfect. 